What it do, y'all, man? Be wide through the hallway. Y'all like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, man. Live from 85, back at it again. The realest one on YouTube, man. Y'all make sure y'all go subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button, comment, all that, man. I give you a little time to sub, you know. Go ahead. Go ahead, man. It's right there. Subscribe. It's red. You know, it's rolling red. Go ahead. All right, hit the bell. All right, now you're going to be notified. Now you're good. Bet. Let's get to it. This video right here, man, we're going to be talking about Russell Poole, Tupac, and Biggie. Now, before I even get started, I'm going to show y'all a picture of Russell Poole right fast. So y'all check this out. Right, man, that's Russell Poole. But before we even get into that, I want to ask y'all a question. Have any of y'all out here ever heard of this movie or seen this movie? All right, man, check this out, bro. That movie is called City of Lies. Um, it's talking about Biggie, Biggie investigation into 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 his assassination plot. You feel me? So dig this, man. I never had a clue that that much was going on in death row. Now, don't get me wrong. Y'all hear stories just like I've heard stories. I'm 34 years old. You know, I lived through that. I remember when all that happened. I remember everything. I remember where I was when Tupac got hit. I remember where I was when it happened to Biggie. You feel me? But nobody promoted this movie. This movie came out December 2018. It didn't go to no movie theaters. It went to a film festival. You feel me? And a couple of people seen it. But for the most part, you know, you just really have to have somebody tell you about it. See, my nephew walked in last night and he asked me, have I seen it? I said, no, I ain't seen it. You know, I'm really not trying to see no more Tupac and Biggie movies. You know, we pretty much know everything. He was like, no, 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 I'm telling you, watch this. I watched it. I found out things that I never, ever knew. Just like if y'all watch it, y'all will find out things that y'all never, ever knew. Man, it's shocking, to be honest with you. I just, I just couldn't believe it when I watched it. Now, the movie is based on Russell Poole, right? Russell Poole was doing an investigation on Biggie. Not on Biggie, but you know what happened to Biggie. Now, I'm not going to say he was investigate, investigating Tupac, but he's the one that found out that everything was tied together. Now, I'm going to give y'all a picture of Tupac and Biggie, but I'm not going to give y'all a picture of um, when they was into it or whatever. I'm going to give y'all this picture right here. Now, i show you that picture just because I want y'all to remember that Biggie and Tupac used to be close. You feel me? They used to be friends. So, everybody always got the thought that was always enemies. Now, nah, they used to be friends. All right, and back to the story. So, Russell Poole... He did investigations and he found out that you know everything was tied together just about. From, from people on the East Coast to people on the West Coast to to the LAPD to... Man, it, it was a lot of stuff, man, in this movie that I just couldn't believe. You feel me? And I'm, I'm not... Now, don't get me wrong. Don't misconstrue my words. I'm saying that the movie said that... LAPD had something to do with it. I'm not saying it on my end. You feel me? I'm not from LA. I just watched the movie. I've been watching these interviews that everybody still keep talking about with Tupac. Like Keefe D, he's still talking about him, Mob James. You know, it's a lot of folks still talking about Tupac, you feel me? So, I want to watch the movie last night, you know, to get a... To get an idea, you feel me, of why everybody still keep talking about this and so much time passed by, you feel me? Because everybody know what happened just about now, you feel me? But it seemed like to me that people were trying to keep this movie under wraps. It's like they didn't want this movie to come out, you feel me? And they really tried to, I mean, be honest with you, I looked it up last night and did my little investigation because I said, why haven't I heard about this movie? Because I would have went to see it. And like I said, I found out that they, they opened it in a festival overseas. And then it went to somewhere in Italy for a while. And 
they tried to get it into the movies over here, but it was a block going on, like, from the LAPD, and it was a bunch of lawsuits and everything going on with it or whatever, but the whole movie is based on Russell Poole investigation. And every name that you hear in the movie, you can go, <clears throat> excuse me, you can go look up. And that's what I done. <laughs> every name I heard, I went and looked up. And when I looked up these names, y'all, it was so crazy, man. I mean, I, like I said, I couldn't believe it, man. Don't, don't get me wrong. I've always heard this stuff and all that, but I just didn't know how deep it went. And it's probably deeper than that, you feel me? It's too, it's too matter of fact, it's too deep for me. I'm not even, I'm not even trying to find out, you feel me? I mean, pretty much, I'm just going to go out with what Mob James and Keefe D and everybody else said. You know, the whole world pretty much saying, but... To everybody out there that think that they know everything that went on, and well, we know about Tupac, we know who did it, we know this, we know that, and we're biggie, you know, we, we know this, we know that. I promise you, you don't know nothing. I suggest anybody that watches this video go on, um, uh, where did I? I don't even know what site I watched the movie on, man. Like I said, my nephew came in last night, he had it playing on his phone. So I'm just going to tell y'all, man, y'all go and try to search for this movie. It's called City of Lies. Man, I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed. It even started off good, man. It started off, it started off fire. It ends fire. It, it ain't one dull, born part in the movie. And it's all accurate. Like I said, you can go back and look up these people's names and look up the cases and everything they were talking about. Because they were giving names and everything in this movie. Like, it's, it's very in-depth. It's better than a Tupac movie. It's better than a Biggie movie. So, I suggest y'all go watch that, man. I just want to talk about that for a little minute, man. Because I was just surprised that nobody heard of it. And being that it's such a good movie with these high A-list actors like Forrest Whitaker in it. And um, Ethan Hawke in it. And um, who else in it? Who else in it? It's a rap dude in it, I think. I can't think of his name. Uh, the dude that played OG Bobby Johnson, uh, Glenn Palmer, he in it, Plummer, he in it. Man, it's, I'm telling you, it's like, it's, it's an A-list movie, but they treating it like it's a D-list movie, you feel me? I don't understand, well, I do understand it, I know why, but, like I say, man, I want y'all to go watch this movie, like, real talk, man. Watch this movie, then come back and come in. Don't come in first till you watch the movie. Go watch the movie first, and then come back and come in. But till then, man, if you walk through the hallway, y'all like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good sh. Me and hold up for you sh. Do what you probably do, not what you want to do. I'm out.